not keen at all at all to sort all this stuff out I mean there's just there's just junk everywhere I mean it was worse from when I was at the other place it was a lot worse there's a photo of it here now but this is just I just don't know where all this stuff came from it's a, it's a mess now I'm gonna sort it out now it's gonna be a good night it's gonna be a good night I got my desk in and that's like the most important part the desk so you know at least I can put that there and now I'll just work and I'll, I know, I'll probably do a time lapse if I'm being honest I'll do a good old time lapse <laughs> Bigger than I anticipated. I was expecting small, smaller drawers. I don't know why. You know, the size of when you know my hands this big and drawers are <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought they were. So what I'm thinking is, uh, I use these shelves to put my camel gears and stuff. And yeah, that, that'll be sturdy enough. And there's a there's a power switch, power right behind here, so I can plug in my camel chargers and other knickknacks and what have you and charge them through that one down there and it's just a lot easier than having everything charged underneath my desk and that's a lot of dust on the lens I just wow hold on I'm currently using the Gorilla tripod just for this one this one instance it doesn't have a bull head but I'm using a Gorilla tripod which I told myself I would never do again but you know desperate measures you know? That's so much better. That's so much better. Wow. So, uh, I'm just gonna keep organizing. This is gonna take like most of the night. So we'll just cut it here, I guess. I think I think you get the point I'm trying to make here. This is a uh, big, really big, real big. Welcome back to another vlog. I know it's been a while since I made a vlog and it's it's been hard to make vlogs when you've got TAFE and school and it's still socially awkward to kind of walk around with a camera. But welcome back to another vlog. I think this is episode three. When I started a new season, season three, I told myself I'm gonna vlog every week and at least pump a new vlog out every two weeks because I feel like a week's just like, you need to find everything in that week to be just Meld it together, meld it, mold it together. I was gonna say weld. No, I was gonna say mold, and I switched to weld, and I went back to mold. So it's like meld, Ooh. mold it together into a cohesive storyline, and then hopefully chuck it out at the end of the week. I didn't want to do that, so I'm gonna do it every two weeks. Well, that's at least what I told myself. I'm, <laughs> I haven't done it every two weeks, as you can tell. This is only episode three, and the last episode didn't really count because it was just like a an amalgamation of just clips that I was gonna put out, but then I didn't, and it's just vlogging is a lot of work. For people who think YouTubers that vlog are just like, oh yeah, I film myself, talk every day, and then I edit it together to some fancy music and post it to YouTube, it's not that. I mean, some probably do, but those vloggers that do want to create good quality content or just create anything quality, they have to tell a cohesive story. They want to get the lighting right, sound right, audio. They got to want to get everything right. And while that is true, there's also a form of rawness to these videos. The fact that I can just pick you up and just take you wherever I want to go next, that's where the rawness comes from. And it's just, it's basically you, the camera. Well, right now, you're a camera to me. You're an actual person watching this. But to me, you're just the camera that I'm talking to right now. It gets a little socially awkward at times, and it's just, you don't really want to talk about it. 
but it's also fun. You get to meet people outside in the real world and they say, hey, what are you filming? And you just tell them, I'm making a vlog. Oh well, yeah, and that's how you get new subscribers. So hello to any new subscriber that I somehow managed to acquire over the last week, month, two months of being inactive. I've been busy, so let's catch up real quick. I bought a new MacBook to edit all these videos. Review coming soon. I don't know why it's coming soon. It came out the end of last year and we're halfway through 2020 now. I bought a new MacBook to help me with the photography course that I'm doing. And for those who didn't know, I'm doing a photography course. So the photography course is going well and I'm really excited to finish it and then hopefully start my career in this industry. Photography, videography, content creation. I'm just, it makes me excited when I get to do this sort of thing. And this angle just, sorry, can we just appreciate this new angle in this new room? It's so much better than the old angle, eh? <laughs> I love this, this is great. I got two new video lights. One's right behind me causing the rim light. Another will be generally over there lighting up the scene, but this isn't an actual video, this is a vlog. It's just gonna be inserted into the video. And of course I'll do reviews and comparison on all three lights that I currently have right now. So that's always cool. Got the new lens, hold on, let's, uh, let's go get it. Ah. Okay, so for those who don't know, this is the Canon M6. Mark II. It is the latest camera in the Canon EOS M lineup, which is their small, compact, mirrorless cameras. I, I'm assuming M stands for mirrorless. And what I have here is a Sigma EOS M mount lens, 16 millimeters, so it's about 24, but what's cool about this lens is that it's F14. It's F14, which means that it lets a lot of light in because of that wide aperture, and the depth of field is just beautiful. I'll throw up some clips and test shots and photos that I've taken with this lens and it's beautiful, I'm loving it. Review and comparison on the M6 and the M50 also in the pipeline. We're gonna start taking this YouTube thing seriously because I'm making zero dollars out of it. And speaking of Canon, uh, the EOS R5 and the R6, they came out and they look dope, so dope. 8K raw video, what? 4K, 120 frames per second? <clears throat> C log, no crop, just mmm. That's the beautiful cameras, and I can't wait to get my hands on them. Well, probably the R6 because it's cheaper and more affordable for me, but that's my next camera. The R6, I'm oh, I'm so excited about that camera. Oh, of course, the gear doesn't matter, it's the skills you know, but still. Gear is exciting. I moved, if you can't tell, this is not my usual setup. It's my new setup, which I'm really excited about. Just so excited, just... I'm not gonna lie, the main reason I moved was so I have this new space. Because as soon as I looked at this house, I was like, I like those shelves, I want that room. This room, I don't care if it's the biggest room. I mean, I do, but I want those shelves just to make it look prettier in my background. So when you're cropped in at 24, you can also see that, just off in the corner, just looking, looking nice. I've been hanging out with my friends at night, I've been having fun. I've gone broke a bit, but that's besides the point. I had fun. Um, do you do 4K 60? Do you do 4K 24? Stop. Oh, you want to do 4K 60? I can do 4K 60. Hi, my name's Ruby, I'm 19 years old. Do you want to do 4K 60? I can do 4K Yes, I am. Do you want me to do 4K 60? That's Ruby, she's doing video. I'm 19 years old. I'm still getting like a third round. Going somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can we feel? Almost like a burning hit in the trip. When we're doing our thing with the wheels, it's not true. So take me on a trip, 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 trip. I'm not acting stupid. 